All comes down to this for Sean Chipperfield and John Rowe. Chippy with the break. Picks the ball. Picks two. And has a pretty decent chance here. It's all set up then. This is a straight shootout for a place in the last 16 to uh, complete Group 1, which is shaping up very, very nicely. The opportunity to join Tom Cousins, Connor Tracy and Greg Batten in the first last 16 group, of which there'll be four. Yeah, you saw the, the grimace on Sean's face as he hit the break. Lost the cue ball completely, but perfect result for him. He's in great shape here for the for the clearance. I should mention that whilst this is a straight shoots out, Superfield does have a small advantage. Well, actually, I'd it slightly more than a small advantage. It's a huge in, advantage. Yeah. yeah, in that he has the draw. So John must win. Sean has a draw in his back pocket if this match ends up level. Sean will qualify. He has not been beaten. John has. The reason I think it's a huge advantage is because you can really control the clock if it's tight at the end. The last few minutes, it, it really helps your decision making. Touch straight here for Sean. He was a little bit annoyed with the previous shot because he left himself touch too much angle and that means he hasn't got past the straight on this one, which means getting onto the eight ball nicely isn't guaranteed. You know, he's got all the shots so in these positions we saw it in the first match. Was he thinking about screwing it all the way up the table for eight ball in the same pocket? Oh, it's just off the wrong angle, that for that as well. He's, he's winding up for a second. Yeah, this is actually his, the worst angle he could possibly leave. He might have to just accept it and go through for the thin cut or the double. A little bit of side. Oh, that's perfect. What a shot. Didn't overhit it, didn't launch at it, just hit it up. You see the side hit as it hit the top cushion, just got the line. Lovely shot. Oh, that one's staying where it is. <laughs> <laughs> he actually, for John, this is all relative this, because, you know, it's still a very good break, but it's the middle of the side cushion there, which is, for John, losing the cue ball. But you can still, the power is all there. He's just had no luck tonight on that break. It's been remarkable. Yeah, that's the worst break he's hit tonight by a, by a distance. But yeah, you're, you're right. It's still, I mean, look, he's still spreading far and wide and still nowhere near making a ball. And ultimately, the cue ball was still safe. Yeah. So yellow's the choice for Sean Chipfield. A good long look at this yellow that he's looking once again at here. He's in the middle left side pocket. Is he looking at is it off the red? Doesn't look like he needs the potting angle. He was. Let's judge that well. Yeah, what's the angle like on this one top right? It's a little fiddly the next couple of shots. Straight's no good. I think he's just off straight, though. Not the right way. I think he potentially looks play to the left side cushion, which gives him some options. Both to middle right and bottom left. Just there. Problem with that is he didn't. It wouldn't give him the angle to come down the table to get on his next ball. So he's sort of. It's really awkward here because the one on the right hand side becomes a problem. He can drop this in and he's got the one bottom right by the eight ball. But then you've got to get left center to the. Yeah, it's all a bit awkward. say it's very awkward. I just wonder if he, I don't know if he's got too much angle for this, if he can land close to the straight on the yellow by the eight ball, can he drop that in and look right centre there? I like this way, he's thinking about coming down the cushion this way with, with rakes of side. But he's you know, changing his mind on it. I think going this way, the double on the yellow on the right might become an option. There's nowhere. Might be on the double now. It might be able to straighten this up, but you can't get on the, the other yellow. I'm not sure you can see it. I think he can. It's tight. 
can definitely see the, the edge of it, whether he can see enough yes, to, yeah. to straighten it. No. Oh, he went across the top of it, but yeah, couldn't get on the other yellow. Accepted he was going to be leaving this sort of shot. This is a real dig. Jordan Chipperfield needing to keep on digging. The natural here with the cue ball is fine. So he can play the pot without worrying about the in-off. Just float it in. No, just hammer the double in. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I didn't see that one. I thought he was going to cut it. I mean, that's an extraordinary shot. Well, it's back to back. It's almost like he was trying to put the fire out of the back of his cue there. He put so much power into that. Oh, oh no. and then misses the eight ball. You'd have put your life on it. That's an incredible miss. Yeah, looking at the overhead, if he plays the cut, he hits the jaw, he can't get on the eight ball. So, had to play the double. But that's an amazing miss on the eight ball. Oh, he, he, Sean Chinfield just doesn't miss those shots. Very, very rare. What an opening. After, and the extraordinary thing is, he's done so much hard work to leave himself a relatively palatable eight ball after all the work that he put in that was an extraordinary miss yeah and it, it could completely change this match as well I mean that was 2-0 done and dusted and he had the next break and a clearance like the one he just you know, if the eight ball goes in that he would have made would have hurt John as well because oh, John would have sort of sat there and thought the most, yeah they? he would have thought oh, I'm going to get to the table here I'm going to get to the table and make it 1-1 and we're all good but yeah that's a it's a big miss in the context of the match. You know from your own playing experience, Si, that you know, nothing hurts quite as much as a, as a clearance where you've had hope of coming to the table several times in the visit. Oh, I thought you were going to say, you know from your playing experiences how easy it is to miss those eight balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not quite that mean. Yeah, no, though, when... But sure, if the shoe fits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you do, when you, you kind of, you are watching what they're doing out there and you, you kind of get a sense on a frame where you, you're happy with them to keep going and you think, um, I'll get to the frame here, I'll get to the table and this is my frame, but yeah, they hurt the most and unfortunately for Sean, it will hurt him now because he's missed the eight ball. For what it's worth, John has been in perfect position all the way through this visit. Really, really nice clearance. Wasn't a gimme on the reds. Still had a little bit of work to do, but did it all really tightly. Didn't give himself any extra problems. At about 80%. That's much more like it from Chippy. Watch this be try. Yeah, yeah, that's his best break of the night, and he's try. Yeah. It's an amazing game. You're not going to get any sympathy from the other side of the arena, though, Sean. John knows exactly how this feels. It's a perfectly hit break. Cue ball right up and down the middle of the table. That is everything that Chippy is trying to achieve there. That he can control, at least. Obviously, he's trying to achieve a ball, but you can't control that, as we've seen tonight. That's not the best of shots that John has ever played. Playing on the yellow at the bottom of the table, not on it. How's the flick? I think he's okay he's just. Fine. He's not going to have much angle on the one to the top left, though, I don't think. I think if he leaves, he might not be able to get it away. I thought he, if he could roll through and leave it flat on the cushion, he'd have loads of angle. I think he's actually, I think there's more there than it looks. No, there wasn't. He used a little bit of side there just to angle the cue ball down. He's in a good position here. Yeah, I think his previous shot was a poor one, though, and it has to be said if... Oh, he had a plan, but if to leave no angle, and he Angle would have been his friend, but he, he was absolutely perfect, as you say. I, was, I think this. I think because John's looks in pretty. John's one of those players that you know if he's played a bad shot because he'll he'll chunt through, he'll head scratch, and all the rest of it. Not once in this visit. I think it might have been his plan all along. You know. Well, I don't think his plan was to leave the, the reverse side off the cushion, but I'm with you. I mean, he, he, the route is exactly what he was planning after his first shot went wrong. Yeah, lovely visit to the table from the ringer. Two one, he leads in a match that he must win. Can he find his break? The contact, the execution has been pretty much perfect all night. That had a little bit extra. Eight ball was tracking. It's not dry again, is it? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, what do you have to do? I mean, this is amazing. The fact that John's in this position, considering how his break has gone tonight, is also amazing. I agreed. I mean, that's incredible. That is genuinely amazing. And it's not like he's hit a single break badly. Seven dry out of eight. And the only one he made a ball was when he had to make a well, golden break. Essentially, didn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have enough time to clear up. Yeah. Brutal. So of his of his seven live breaks, if you like, he's been drying all of them. Yeah. What what won't make him feel any better is there's only been three other breaks tonight that were either dry dry or fouled. So <laughs> across the field, he's he's got them all. left for Sean which presents more. it has been well picked apart so far by Jimmy yeah and this is the only shot that really feels like it can go wrong that little nudge doesn't really hurt him if he drops this one in down the cushion and gets himself to the the straight I think there's enough room just to pop the one left centre without hitting the eight ball and then you're on the one that he's just nudged to touch further up the table so it should be fine just floats through and doesn't hit the eight so he's fine well he knew he was hitting it so he played to hit it just means he's got to be a bit more careful getting on the eight ball this time round has room well Sean Shimmerfield wipes that one up oh <laughs> hammered into the top corner this is a tough one for Sean yeah that's that's fine that is right in the zone you're trying to get it into that's as, as tough as it gets oh this is right down to the wire isn't it wow inside the five minutes perfect layout for John Rowe to go in front and have the break Well, you'd say that ordinarily. It might not mean a lot for him tonight. Yeah, should he be doing any clock management here is my thinking. Just, you've got to make the clearance, I suppose. Forget about the clock at this stage, but, yeah. All I was thinking is if he used the full, say, two minutes on the clearance, and makes a ball off the next, then he doesn't have to go and win the frame or, or make a clearance or anything. He can just pot a few balls to win, whereas if he leaves three minutes on the clock. It's slightly different. Anyway, the most important thing is he makes the clearance. Yeah, now he has a think about the clock. Thought, a little think about the clock there, but didn't choose to run anything down. Chose to just pop them and leave 328. Oh, we nearly hit a golden break. He is going to make a ball. He, he tap breaks this. He yeah. barely hits it. He took so much off it. Just he, had, he felt he had to change something. That's the softest I've ever seen him hit a break. <laughs> he nearly made the eight ball. But he has made a ball and he has a layout here to go and win the match. He almost went in off. He almost made the eight ball. He did make a ball. But with three minutes, he has to make the clearance here. If he doesn't make the clearance, Sean will have time to counter. That yellow on the right side rail will come to prove very, very key love to have got that out of the way early he's not going to get the chance to do so yeah it doesn't really fit anywhere I don't mind it as a last ball but can you get there as a last ball the reason I don't like I don't mind it as a last ball is because where the eight ball is you drop it in you've got the eight ball from distance not easy 
easy to get there though. Oh, just just too far for left centre. Thinking about taking it now. Oh, this is huge. This is the night right here. Goes top corner, nails it. He's short. Oh, he's not. You saw him just <laughs> as soon as he looked down, he little pep in his step. He's on it. What a shot. Brilliant from John Rowe. Brilliant from John Rowe. That was an amazing shot. One of the best shots of the tournament so far, because it had that was the night on the one shot. The ringer dials up a win when he needed it the most. And Sean Chipperfield, last year's semi-finalist, is eliminated. John Rowe has done it. He's into the last 16. And we'll hear from him in just a moment.